let's have even more fun. Let's say this content group, right now we can only have one. So I'm going to change the settings and say I can have three of them. This changes our input. Right now everything showed up, but now we get add content group. Programming stuff for now and just look at how we actually uh, get some content out of eSweb to build a website with. Uh, in app settings, so we had a section here where we can add our API settings. So if you remember us being in eSweb, we found these settings in the API cloud here. So I'll just go ahead and add the client ID. So that authorities app.eSweb, our client ID, we can just copy and we have our secret. We copy in there. And then we have the endpoint root, which is this one. I'll just add that there and that there. So that's basically the setup. Create a site, uh, create a site in eSweb. We activate the API. We populate our API data, authorization data. And hopefully this will now work. I'm going to kick off this project and see if we get anything out of it. Hopefully we'll get some sort of start page with some empty contents, maybe a menu. Let's see if I can move this down here. Oh no, I think this is a first time. I think it's missing just, it doesn't create a folder or something. So I just started again. Uh, I got a report from this today. So we got some data out of it. So we got a some start CEDA in eSweb. This seems like some sort of menu structure, which is the menu here. I'll try to minimize this up here. So, and then we have some a default footer. We'll get into that soon. So we'll just see if this is connected. So I'm gonna create a new main menu called Robert's menu. I'm gonna link that to the start page. Let's select it. So now we have three. Let's save that. So hopefully now when I refresh this one, we'll get a third option here. And it shows up. So we're connected now to eSweb. You see, we have the default contents. Uh, so the default contents, I, I, I won't really go into that. Uh, I want to show you how to actually get data out of eSweb. I think most in here, if you have worked with .NET, you'll be familiar with the views in here. Like we have a layout view. It's nothing special. Uh, it's made ahead. Uh, these are some special tag helpers. Uh, and then, yeah, this will have a footer. The footer will be here. Just some standard template. We can just remove this. Uh, if we want to, we can remove that. Whoops, I don't want to remove my EV template. That's the cool stuff. So this will be this footer contents. Let's get rid of that, good. So you see, it's nothing strange. The menu is a bit complex, but you can look at that later if you want to. Uh, I mean, the, the template is open. You can create an account in eSweb as easy as I did it. There's nothing locked, no licensing or anything right now behind anything. So just, you can create whatever you want to right now. And now let's look at actually printing some content. So you remember we created a news module up here. So how the Alba template, uh, how the eSweb template works is that each of these modules, you saw that we had, let's see, we had a key. So I'll go and edit this module. We have the key news. So the eSweb template will actually auto match our view folders to this key. So I'll go ahead and I'll create a new folder for news. And hopefully this folder will then map this module. And in this folder, I'll then create a new view called, say, let's go with, in, I can actually go with news.cshtml. I can use either index.cshtml, which is some are used to, or I can use the module key to uh, connect the, our view to, to the eSweb data. So hopefully I'm right about that. So we'll create a news.cshtml. I don't know why I got, I don't want in default contents. And is, uh, the eSweb template is pretty cool. It's basically made up all of custom 
tag helpers. So we have, for example, EV template, which render all content in a view. We have EV list, which can be used. For example, I can go UL and then I can go LI EV list equals and say I have a key. Let's take this key, our second textbox list. And I can loop the contents like this. So, and to actually print content, we have, say I want a, uh, I want a strong in here. And to print content into it, we have an EV4, which is EV4 key. So since we're printing inside the list, uh, there's a special keyword. I can leave it empty or I have a special keyword for, this is taken from jQuery where, you know, the query means this. So basically, EV list will loop all of these we added. And for each one, I can control the contents here. But right now I just say, if, uh, this strong is for this. So this will be the text box list. So it'll be each one of these. So this is basically how you, how you, how you program with it. You can, if you want to create an image, you go image and to populate the source tag, you go isweb for source. So if we had an image here, we could just go for image. Uh, we can add that later. Um, and I'm just showing off a bit, but these tag helpers are pretty cool. So we have uh, for anchors, we have an EV for href, for example. So say we have a link. And even we even have a to just print a custom attribute value from the eSweb contents. I can even go say div EV for adder. Say I want a background image. I can type a image key here, say big image and this would populate uh, this attribute. So it, it just say background image equals and the value that that key results. But that's just showing off as I said. So let's look at the first one, EV template. The idea of this one is that it will auto print any content it finds under itself. So since we are in the news CSHML, uh, this is the main view. In the main view, I'll open a new tab. The main view is the, the entire view here. So this will print this one and this one. Uh, if I added a section, for example, you can group content. So I can add a section, I can add an image to it and a link. And let's also add a header description. Let's see, let's just take a text box, move that there. Let's say this is title. Uh, we don't need a key. We have an image. And oh, actually, this was title. And this was a link. Um, so let's call this uh, content group. Let's set the key content group. Then I could actually go EV template for key content group. And it'll auto print anything under this key. So that's what EV template does. It basically auto prints anything available. So let's see if this EV template works now in the news view. Remember, we haven't really done anything. We just created a news view, same key as this. Let's see if we get any content from our first news page. Uh, right now we're still in the home. Whoops. Uh, so we want to reach this page, the news one section. So I'll just go ahead in the menu and I'll add a link to that news one, just so we can see that it renders its content properly. So add news one, save, get news one. And if we look at this URL, you see down here, the URL matches the one in eSweb, news slash news one. So let's head over to that one and whoa, here we see. So from our news site, we had content text box one, which was printed. We had news intro one, one, two, three. So, so it just printed everything uh, like EV template is supposed to do. So EV template is made for building more dynamic models where you can have uh, say flex sections where perhaps you want to add an uh, uh, a news list, but you want to have it on the home page, you want to have it on a product page, 
then you can just print it with the template and it'll automatically print whatever you want to and then you can control the contents in the studio instead of letting the instead of you know having to specify every single content on every page in the visual studio so let's try this um ev list type so remember we i said we could do say a div and let's go uh, ev list equals and then we can provide our key so an ev list for let's take this list of our second text box list so that's this list with items here so three items so i'm gonna use say i want to print the list of these items i'm gonna take style border let's say 10px solid pink of course let's add some uh, margin uh, 10 pixels and in here we'll just go with an h2 ev4 so as i said the dollar is for this so we're going to print uh, the list for each item in the list print an h2 with dollar this so let's see what we get we're still on news news one auto mapped to the news folder news route and we reload so you see we get our style border color pink around it and we have list item one list item two list item three so you see the ev list prints from this list so let's add a third one a fourth one fourth option save it we reload so you have an instant connection between the ESWeb, the templates you add and the content you print and as you see you don't really need an eraser you don't need to you don't really need to program any c sharp unless you want to the default standard tag helpers just lets you create html close native web content really just using the the data from from eSweb. so let, let's try to just add a add a picture i'll upload a crown here boom and you remember that we added a didn't oh we didn't say that we added a content group here uh, so i'm going to save this view and then in the content mode we should get a oh we just call the section let's call this uh, content group just for fun so now we have a new content group we can add actually let's have even more fun let's say this content group right now we can only have one so i'm going to change the settings and say i can have three of them this changes our input right now everything showed up but now we get add content group so add one add content group two so i'm just gonna say a content group one title we're gonna add our crown i'm actually gonna upload another image let's see let's pick this one i don't know what that is so we have a crown here we're gonna add a link to the start page and then in our second content so, so i added two so now one and i add another content i can move that up of course and let's say this is content group two title and let's choose this one and let's skip the link for this one so now we have some more content the cool stuff one cool thing uh, let's say we skip this for a while and we go back to the ev template the auto rendering tag helper just having this and letting it auto render we get all our data we get our image we get our crown in the bottom because we move that down and actually this is quite a large image so i'm going to go ahead in here and say for this image i want a thumbnail i want to use a thumbnail and a thumbnail with a maximum 400 pixels just to not bloat this too much Boom, and it auto creates our thumbnail at this size. But now we only want to style this content group. Let's say we want to reuse it, it reuse it on other pages. So in news, I can actually use this key. Whoops, let's boop. I can use this content group key and create a view that'll automatically match against it. So a partial view really. So I'm gonna intend it with a 
an underscore. I don't have to, but uh, our front enders have preferred it because they want to separate the main view from the partial views that they create. Because they, they basically have an EV template in the main view, and then they just create partials like this and match to different sections they set up. So content group .chhtml. Uh, and hopefully now this one will outmap to this key and in here I'll be able to go um, say an EV list because we have three of them. So I'm going to go EV list for key. Since I'll be in this view, meaning I'll be say standing on this group, I can use the this key to say render this list because we have already mapped the key to this view. And then in this view, let's say I want to just print the image. I can go uh, image uh, EV for source. And this is going to have, uh, we have, uh, we can add name, we, let's say uh, content group image. Let's add a key just to not confuse us with the default keys. Uh, we just want to print the content group image for every one of these we added. And we had our something something and a crown. And let's add. And it just, oh, you see, we have these. I can actually, yeah, you saw, we, we got the two images in the end. But we still have this text list in the start that I don't want. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take that key and I'm going to tell in the news main view, I'm going to say skip keys. So I don't want to render that text list. And then as a result, okay, we all also have this first text box. So I'm going to skip that as well. I'm going to skip those keys. So just out render anything but the text boxes. And I just get the images. So you saw it I actually auto mapped this content group key to our. To our content group section and then we were able to control the content in here so let's say we just want to print the title as well so we're going to give this this a key content title save and just to print the content we're actually gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wrap this in a div so we're gonna go for every div we want an EV list Oops. And we're going to go with an H2 EV4, our new content title key. So it'll hopefully auto print in there. And we're going to add an HR in there and see what happens. Uh, and then we'll get our title, image, we're going to HR, and then next item, title, image, HR. So you see, just using these simple keywords, uh, we don't have to program much. We get the content where we need the content. We can focus on writing nice HTML, building a cool front, writing SAS, JavaScript, and creating a good website without worrying about programming it too much. All we need is to add the content uh, or add the templates, populate the content, and just print it on demand where we need it in our straight up in our HTML. And that's basically the presentation. Awesome. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, and all of these tags are built, custom built. I've actually built them. And they work pretty well, very well. It's real cool stuff we've done. It.